Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. This is another piss me off I was just handed. Roll your own cigarette operations to be snuffed out. Now, I roll my own cigarettes. I don't use the tubes or whatever. But um, here, here's another attack via the Obama administration, via laws that you can't even fucking understand. Now, now, before I even start, let me ask you something. And keep this in mind. Don't answer me now. Uh, what the fuck does transportation have to do with tobacco? But inside the transportation bill, as you'll see here, a tiny amendment buried in the federal transportation bill uh, to be signed today by President Obama. This was posted on the 6th, so this has already happened. Another law you didn't know about. Uh, similar to NDAA, when that was passed, it allows our military to fuck animals. Now the transportation bill is passed. You don't even know what's in it, and you just help put fucking people out of work. Okay? The whole time Obama's saying, oh, I'm creating jobs. He's destroying them, methodically. Anyway, let me get back to this before I start to rant about this asshole. Um, operators of Roll Your Own Cigarette Operations in Las Vegas and nationwide uh, is going to put them out of business at midnight. Wonderful. Robert Wieson, with his brother and other partners, own nine Sin City cigarette factory locations in southern Nevada, including six in Las Vegas and one in Hawaii. He said the bill uh, is signed. Their only choice is to turn off their 20 roll-your-own filling station machines and lay off more than 40 employees. And so this is the deal. I'll link you to this post if you want to read all the, the nitty-gritty. But the, the basics of it is uh, more corporate sluts bowing down to Philip Morris. Okay. Um, Philip Morris is losing money because people are choosing to roll their own cigarettes. So they pay off some, uh, you know, constituents, and, and the next thing you know, they, they pass a law buried inside a bill that has nothing to do with any of it. it it's fucking ridiculous. Let's see here. Uh, feels kind of shaky, Wieson said. The man who pushed for this bill is Senator Max Buckus from Montana, and he received donations from Altria a parent company of Philip Morris. Interestingly enough, there is also no roll your own machines in the state of Montana. Really makes me question the morals and values of our elected speakers. Well, I'm with you, I'm with you with that, on that one, uh, Wieson. I don't trust any of these whores. Okay, this is bullshit. I mean, it, it goes on all the time. It's just one more thing. And since I'm a smoker, uh, I had to put this out there. There's also, by the way, uh, limited evidence or, or theories, we might call them, that cigarette smoking will help shed the aluminum from the chemtrails that are being sprayed. And I know the trolls are going to fucking eat this one up. Ah, uh, you're out of your mind. Give me science. Give me links. Do your research. I'm telling you what I heard. Okay? And it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. Uh... The theory is is that uh, the aluminum gets caught up in the phlegm and the phlegm is coughed up and expelled. And it makes sense to me. It, it, it really does. Uh, I believe that. And one more reason that I believe that is you can't find very much information. But it has passed by my eyes over the last year or so. Anyhow, the link to the post will be below. There's your wonderful President Obama eliminating more jobs, whacking at the little guy while Philip Morris whores start, uh, continue to pay off senators and governors and politicians and yeah, it just continues. Anyway, that's, that's all for now.